Alrighty everybody, welcome back to another video. We're playing some Wukong in the mid lane, the new reworked Wukong. Um, we're on the PBE. My minimap is like bugged. It's huge. But we have a Teemo jungle and he's gonna steal this buff. Well he gets a shield now with his passive when he goes out of stealth. Okay, he wants us to not go in, but he's gonna die as soon as he steals it. Oh my god, wait. Master, you just didn't even know what happened there, okay. That's actually hilarious. Was oh, it only a physical damage shield? Okay. What if he just, like, steals all his camps? Well, good thing I have a flask. I'm going to take a bit of poke here. But we can start trading with him once I hit three. Wait, what the hell? I just teleported. Oh, nice. We didn't get traded back. Okay, that's actually a pretty big dash. I did not know I would go that far. they did something to his mana cost because it feels like I'm not really running out of mana. Usually Wukong uses a lot more mana. Alright, what are we maxing? Is it still Emax? I think it's still Emax. Dude, he actually gets so much mobility. You can jump like half the lane now. Everyone's complaining that the Wukong rework is kind of bad, but... I don't see how it's bad. This seems a lot better than the old one. If his W has a dash now. Unless they like lowered his ratios or his damage. <laughs> Dude, this Teemo is actually... Okay. Steals their blue. Steals bot lane's kill. Makes Kaiza upset. He only has one potion left. Oh, I see a Master E. I don't think his W dash can go over walls. I'm gonna steal this though. Yoink. Pretty long cooldown on this, but it's actually a pretty strong ability now. Oh, his W does, or his E does magic damage. Hey, maybe I don't max it then. Although by the time I get armor pen, I'll have my my Q maxed. I think. Wait, that's so weird that it does magic damage. But then you can't really just build armor against him. It's got a little hybrid damage now. See if that can clear the wave at all. Wait, it hits now too. Oh, it doesn't spin. It just hits now. Okay. That's cool. Does anything scale with AP? 
No. She can't go like Gunblade, sadly. Need to recall soon. We could try and all end him, but he's full health. Oh, I fucked that up. Thought I'd be invis for longer. We could try and kill him now. Nah, he's staying back. I won't be able to finish him if I ult, so we need to get him lower. Okay, so I was going to go Lethality, but I don't think that's what I should go anymore. At least maybe only a Dusk Blade, because this does magic damage. So Lethality doesn't really help it that much. We go like Black Cleaver, although that'd be alright, I guess, for the alt still. We'll figure it out. Oh, wait, that Q didn't do any damage. Oops. Wait, it does 20 plus 6. Okay, he definitely knows something's up. Okay, he saw Teemo. I could just try and all in him if he walks up more. Okay. Oh wow, his alt his alt hits a lot faster now, so maybe a cleaver would be pretty good with that. I think they're trying to make him more bruiser-like instead of assassin, so we'll build like a bruiser. Although I kind of want to get a black... Uh, no, no, not a black cleaver. A triforce. Triforce seems pretty good. We'll go triforce. Some boots. So this Sheen should give a, our Q a bit more damage on the trades. Should I roam? Looking pretty free. I'm going to lose a fat wave though. Nah, I will stay for the wave. Oh nice, that physical damage shield helps us tank the minions. I could clean this up if. Never mind. Where's TF? Oh, he's probably gonna port top. Yep. Oh, he's bot. Lady C's dead. Well, if he tanks a couple turret shots, I could clean it up. How low is he? Oh, Malphite still has alt. Oh. Okay, well, I played that bad. I should have just flashed on TF and one shot him with my ult. I think Malphite's still at ult. Let's get some attack speed, I guess. Wow, he's faster than me, too, and he didn't even have boots. That sucks. Oh, well.
<laughs> Malphite is actually the most fun in the game. He stays so far back. Like, I, I always have to W to get to him. I guess I'll just try and roam more, because he doesn't want to fight me. I'm gonna pull you over here. See ya. Scaring. Whoa, why did he get a shield? Oh, yeah, his W. He changed him. That works. I gotta get back mid. We got our Triforce. I don't know what to go next. We'll figure it out. I'm probably gonna get a Dusk Blade, just because of the active on it. Works good with the invis. Well, this is gonna be hard to do anything with Malphite just one shotting us every time. Wait. Uh. What? Alright, well, the new Wukong rework just fucking crashed the shit out of my game. <laughs> well, we're loading back in. At least that doesn't happen on the live servers. The game is not... Oh, it is in borderless, but it doesn't let me move it. Okay. Should I get Mercs? the TF stun. I don't really think I need mercs though. If it's just the TF stun. Okay, our bot lane is really far behind. If I go in on this guy, I'm pretty sure like Malphite's gonna be behind him. It's not showing. There we go. see Malphite, he's mid. Means we can try and kill Trist. She's worth 300 gold. TF is top. Nice. Probably gonna have Malphite run down here and ult me. I could dodge it though with my W. Okay, he's gonna kill all three of us. Oh, I took a turret shot there. 
Okay. Well, I think they crashed. Yeah, everyone's crashing. <laughs> oh my god, my whole team crashed. Wait, the enemy team might have crashed too. Hopefully. Mount's back up in 20 if Malphite stays. He did stay. I think I'm going to wait for my ult. I don't think my... I think I can catch him. Why is he so fast? Nice! We are doing, like, no damage. Oh, never mind. We got her. Okay, let's go. Now we're playing well. And, uh, the Triforce definitely helped us in those trades with the Q. <laughs> Malphite ult is crashing the game. I think I'll go Duskblade still for the one-shot potential, the burst. Oh yeah, I think I still had Corrupting Potion there, but maybe not. Doesn't look like Set's ever going to leave the top lane. Did their mastery... He has 1 CS. How is he level 6 with 1 CS? Maybe it bugged, because I... Bug splatted. I wonder, what if... Does the clone do on-hit... Um, like items. So, like, if I built a bunch of on hit items, use the clone, we'd both hit at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, wait, what the fuck was that set damage? Wait a second, dude. Set's actually strong. He's not even that fed. And that was some insane damage. Play the Rune King. Dude, I kind of want to build a blade. Okay, the clone didn't even do anything there. <laughs> Get that dusk blade. I think Death Stance would actually be pretty decent. That'll get us to 40% CDR. Get us a little tankier. Maybe we should go. Oh, I can't undo it now. I could build a, a long sword. Ooh, AFK. Kaiza? Oh, we're missing two people? Oh no, Timo's there. Wow. I deleted that guy. Wow, okay, the Dusk Blade with the Triforce Q hurts. So I guess Master Yi didn't come back, and Kaiza didn't come back, so it's kind of even, unless they're missing another person. 
Dude, I actually, I like the W. You can use it to catch up to people if they're running away. And I have ultimate hunter, so my ult's on a 40 second cooldown. Yeah, I'm I'm liking the rework so far. The only thing I don't like is the magic damage on the E, but I feel like he would be extremely strong if he if it did physical damage. Need two hundred more. At least my ult is up for every single fight. We can probably 1v1 Garen. He has Triforce. He stunned my clone. Okay, let's fight him. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. I should have ran. <laughs> okay, we got Death Stance. Ah. The mysterious black box that does 135 damage. Thank you. Okay, what next? We could go, like, Last Whisper. It's not good for me to build more CDR here because I didn't take Transcendence. So we just either go straight damage or straight tank. I'm guessing we want damage, though. I could go Blade the Rune King, too, for fighting, but it doesn't really help us with our alt is a problem. I think a Last Whisper would be pretty good, but they have no armor, so it wouldn't. Um, yo, Sterix would actually be pretty good, though. I might get a Sterix. That scales really well with our passive, and it gives us some base AD, so we'll get a Sterix. I missed the knockup, but we killed him. Oh, hey, TF. No, oh, we should probably try and do this. Mal's up in 30. I mean, Malphite's there only engage, pretty much. Oh, goodbye, Lux. I have ult in 15. I could heal off the dragon, I think. I got death stance. Yeah, 47 to hit. I don't want to die of this, so I'm going to die. I'm just going to go to try and assassinate Trist. Aww. I didn't think she'd make it that far. I could still look for something. Unless I'm just walking over a ward. I want blue buff. Now the question is, did Malphite use his R button? Damn, he lived. Yeah. 
I can use my W to dash out a turret. And the shield stays, I think. How much do I need for Sterics? Sterics will make me so strong. We could get like a Tiamat too and get a Ravenous. Or or Titanic. Maybe Titanic. And then I'd just be really tanky and I still do a lot of damage. It's like hybrid. Or not hybrid, off tank. Dude, if that if that clone scales with attack speed, I'll definitely try <laughs> attack speed build. It'd be so funny. Just get the clone to solo kill someone. What if it crits too? Wait, can I control the clone? Mm, not really. Wait, I can choose who it attacks. I think. Wait a second. can't control it, but I think I can choose who it attacks. I wish it walked. It's up in 15. I want the Garen. Goodbye, sir. Unless he presses W and gets a shield. No. Where's TF? Pretty much is a death match right now. Team Deathmatch. Ah. Alright, I got two of them out of that. My Death Stance kept me alive for a while. If I would have had Steric there, I probably would have lived. If you built like a frozen mallet too, like no one would get away from you. As long as you're able to just straight up 1v1 people. No one would get away from you, because you have two dashes, you stick on people, and then you'd slow them, too. What last item did I want? Probably, like, a Last Whisper, but they still don't have any armor, really. So we could go, like, BF Sword, maybe. Or GA. Oh, yeah, I wanted Hydra. I don't have enough. I'll still sell that, it's kind of useless. Most likely on a ward. Oh, wait, the clone procs dust blade, so it does proc on hit stuff. Oh, I couldn't reach him, I guess. Okay, so you could do some funny build with the clone. I might try that later. I'm gonna get Malphite altered.
We gotta end this game. We have no siege as a problem. We can kill them, but they can just keep wave clearing. So I might be in this game for a while. Unless we do Baron. Teemo's got attack speed. He doesn't have Blade of the Run King, though. Got a little extra auto in before I... Jeez, he's so fast. I think he has Nimbus Cloak. Let's just do this so we can try and end the game. We gotta get out of this game. <laughs> We're gonna be here for 50 minutes. Okay, they definitely know we're doing this. I think. Okay, no smite. That's kind of scary. 2300. Need 500 more monies. We'll let the clone finish that one off. Ooh, okay. Actually does damage. So I'm thinking, wait, what if you like waited in a bush and someone walked in the bush and then you got the clone in here with you and then you both dusk blade it. You could like burst somebody pretty hard. Maybe we should split them up too. Yeah, I think I can choose which one it attacks if I hold alt. TF alt. Oh, Timo, look at him go. Okay, we're full build. We have a lot of AD, and we also have 3k health. 250 shield. Okay, Setsuke in the turret, that's good. I haven't seen Tristan in a while. Oh, there she is. Once he has cooldown reduction, it actually feels really good. His W gets a low cooldown, so you can use the clone and the dash a lot. Oh, my Q actually hits for a thousand. Alright, GG. Let's check out the damage. Overall, I think, I think he's pretty good right now. I think that was fun to play. He's definitely not an assassin anymore. You could still play him like that, but the assassin build is nerfed. Alright, let's see. We did 46k damage.